Hi everyone, I am here to do a review for ketone test strips for the Atkins diet. I'm going to go ahead and read a summary of the information that was inside of the box of test strips that I purchased today. And we did get the CVS brand, it was around $11. But basically it says, in the body, carbohydrates are converted to glucose. Glucose is the body's primary source of energy. Insulin is needed to help process glucose and blood to, and blood to supply the body with energy. When blood gluco glucose is not available for energy, the body will use fat stores to produce ketones for energy. Excess ketones are discarded for, in urine. For low carbohydrate dieters who are not diabetic, low intake of complex carbohydrates and sugars promotes use of ketones from fat stores rather than blood glucose as the primary source of energy for the body. When this occurs, the body produces a steady state of ketones, or and that is um, something called ketosis. There is information about uh, using this for diabetics, but since I'm doing this solely for the Atkins diet purpose, I'm not gonna read that. Um, but the product description, ketone care test strips consist of test pad mounted on a plastic strip. Test pad changes color as it reacts with ketones in the urine. Color is, usual, is visually compared to color chart printed on the test strip bio label. This color comparison provides a semi-quantitative measurement of ketones in urine. To use the urine ketone test, you simply remove the test strip from the vial. You close the vial immediately. If you're opening the vial for the first time, write a date on the open vial label. Check the use by date printed and the open date written on the vial. Do not use if either the use by date has passed or if it's two months past the open date. Discard the vial and test with a new vial. I did not know this before and that is good to know because it can give an inaccurate result if it's been open for longer than two months or if it's past the use by date and it's, been, and it's still sealed. So you basically, you firmly hold the end farthest away from the test pad and you pass the test through the urine stream. Urine may also be collected in a clean, dry container for testing. After collection, quickly dip test pad into the urine, drag, along the te drag long edge of the test strip along the rim of container to remove excess urine. After 15 seconds, match test pad to color chart on vial label. Ignore any ch color changes after 15 seconds. Color chart blocks gives approximate values Actual colors may be slightly darker or lighter than color shown on the chart. If replacement color chart is needed, call for assistance. Um, let's see here. Discard used test strip in appropriate container. Expected results. Ketone results are read from color chart as negative 0 milligrams to large 160 milligrams. Normal urine usually gives negative results. For diabetics, call your doctor or diabetes healthcare professional if result level is moderate to large. Uh, let's see here. So storing the test strips, uh, you keep them in their original capped label vial, labeled vial. Cont contact with moisture may cause incorrect results. After removing strip from vial, immediately recap the vial. Store test strips in a dry place at room temperature below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not refrigerate or freeze and do not store vial in direct sunlight. Strongly colored urine samples may mask the color of tech test pad and may cause negative result to appear as positive. Compounds that contain sulfonyl group such as mesna, sulfonic acid may cause po false positive results. So basically the ketone test strip um, is a very very good tool and letting you know whether or not you're doing your diet right when you're on Atkins. I'm not so sure about that South Beach diet, the South Beach diet, but I assume it's all the same. So I've been wondering for the past nine days, if since I've been in the induction phase of Atkins, if I'm doing everything right. In my opinion, I'm doing everything and I'm staying at 20 grams of net carbs or below. But you never know if you're eating something and you don't realize it's got carbs or if you're getting carbs uh, or uh, or anything from sources and you're not even realizing it or whatever. So to me, it's a very helpful tool in determining whether or not you're, you're doing your diet correctly. So I definitely recommend getting this product. It, like I said, I got it at CVS for $11.
There's 50 test strips in this vial and you can only use it for two months. After two months, you have to get rid of it after two months after opening the container because it could give an inaccurate result after that. So I'm not sure if you really need to use this, uh, these test strips forever or if it's just during the induction phase um, or when you get your carbs way, way low. I'm not exactly sure about that one. You might wanna you know, do a search and I'm probably gonna do a search myself. But yeah, I definitely recommend it to let you know whether or not you're doing the right thing, especially if you're not dropping weight. You might want to double check. I've been dropping weight like crazy. I, I lost five and a half pounds in a week, my first week on the diet, and that's a lot of weight to lose. So I at least know I am confident now that I'm doing everything correctly and I am in the zone. So I hope this review was helpful and let me know if you have any questions and leave your comments below. All right, so this is what the test strip looks like. And you just hold it up here for a comparison. This one has not been urinated on, um, but this right here is a negative, and then there's trace, small, moderate, large. And, well, both of these are large. And when I did mine, I'll show a picture of it, it was somewhere between these two. So I was definitely got a really good result. So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to share that and do a quick review on the product. If you're on the Atkins diet, especially, you know, when like you're in the induction phase, you really need to know if you're doing your diet right, if you're um, if you're in ketosis, that's an important part of um, switching over to burning fat instead of glucose. So um, anyway, I definitely recommend getting these and uh, leave your comments below. Talk to you soon.